the art of creative watercoloring, inspire insp inspiration and techniques for imaginative drawing and painting by Danielle Donaldson. So it lists what you'll will learn in the book. It'll, it tells you talks about different supplies, so like consumables, the paper, the paint, a few other things. It talks about tools like the brushes, paint palettes, and again a few other things. Brushes, so the watercolor image like of magic of the brush. So it will show like image. It shows like the image of table of a workstation in watercolor, which is kind of nice. So creative process, different solutions. So lesson one, organized practice. So daily practice, a tape board, watercolor pad, handmade journals, like to reward yourself. There's practice, there's other stuff in there. There's like practices. So it'll show you, like it will show you a complete image and then it'll show you how to do certain parts of that image, like throughout the book. So it sh like shows you the complete and like, here's how, here's the person doing it. Lesson two, color practice, washes and other techniques. So strips and grids of watercolors on on paper and then a whole lot and a different other aspects. Lesson three is composition practice. So studies, this is more of the shot by, almost shot by shot of the person doing uh, the image. So, and there's do's and don'ts on doing compositions. It shows you, like shows you how to do like one thing multiple times so like here's how to do a mason jar a few different times or a chair kind of thing so different chairs and like I said there's images of like the how to's and of the images painted so there's a metric conversion cart chart so how to convert like uh, to convert to multiply by and all this other and some other stuff. So it's an interesting read. It's a different kind of take on other watercolor books, but I found this a little better than other watercolor books because the ones that I have read already are like not beginner beginner books there there's the assumption you already know how to do all this stuff so there is a bit of that but it gives you kind of like options and like here's how to do all this stuff so it's not a total beginner book but it's an option so I found I found it really nice I liked it it was okay so it's something to look into if you want a, a slightly different watercolor how-to book. Happy readings.